Hey guys, so I'm back with another Victoria 3 video. And if you saw my last Victoria 3 video, you already know what I'm planning to do here. So last game I played, I noticed a tiny little releasable. Let's see. Cultures. So wait, diplomacy release. I'm pretty sure I clicked on the wrong person here. It's supposed to be Ching. Alright, now we're here. So, there's a tiny little nation called Tuva. That's right here. Which I'm pretty sure is Tanu Tuva, which is in Hearts of Iron 4. I don't play Hearts of Iron 4. So, I don't really have that much of a, a bond with Tuva, but... So, looking at our country, we are definitely in the toughest spot I've been in since I started the releasable series. Let's actually let the month tick go over. Or the week tick. So. We probably have the lowest GDP in the entire world. I, like, e even, even decentralized powers have more GDP than me. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. The, yeah, look, e even the Ionian Islands have better GDP than me. We have no people. We have, we have pretty decent standard of living and decent literacy so we probably start oh look at that we actually start off with no migration controls immediately what i'm going to do here is attempt to join either either the ching market or the russian market and then hopefully a ton of um russians or chinese immigrate to tuva so it looks like we're going to become russia's protectorate here they already want to kill me <laughs> do they have claims no so, yeah, I'm just going to become their protector immediately. There you go. Great. I'm pretty sure if I keep on improving relations with Russia, and the relations are above 20%, they can't actually declare war on me. So, I basically, this is going to be here the entire game, because Russia hates me. So, yeah. And also, we're getting a ton of population from, like, both, it's, it's probably mostly from the Qing, because of um, Mongol and Kalmyk are both accepted cultures in our lands. So, obviously, we are not going to be able to conquer this game at all. Unless, like, somehow the Great Ching, like, pop out some guys. Or Russia pops out some guys here. Like, there's nothing we can really expand into here. So, this is, like, the, like, like the most pure playing tall campaign. Okay, so the goal for this campaign, I have two of them. The first one is to survive, because we are in a extremely tough spot here, obviously. The second goal here, for me, is to reach like 250,000 people living here. Since we started off with like 30 something, I think it was. Yeah, you can't really tell. It, it's it was probably around 30. Luckily for me, Russia finally stopped being antagonistic, and now they're protective. Hopefully they save the story for the rest of the game. Because I really don't want to have to worry about dying to them, like, throughout this entire campaign. It looks like Prussia this game is actually going to lose the German leadership war. So it looks like we're not going to see a unified Germany this game. This right here is pretty interesting. So apparently Russia wants to expand their North American holdings. And they want to take the Yukon territory. I wonder how this is going to go. I'm pretty sure Great Britain's going to back down. But, yeah, I guess we'll see. So I actually haven't been doing much right now because we have like no population. Even though it looks good, most of the people who are actually immigrating are dependents, which means I can't actually use them for buildings. So all I'm trying to do right now is get um, egalitarianism. And then what I'm going to do here is enact um, multiculturalism. So then hopefully a ton of more people start migrating here. Nice. And it looks like this nation's back in the world. So, I've been thinking... Well, I, I've, well, I haven't been thinking, I've noticed that even though we passed that law, migration hasn't been, like, increasing at all. I don't know why this is the case. I, I thought that we would have a lot more, like, Han Chinese showing up. But, but like, none of them are actually showing up for some reason. I don't really know how migration works across land borders but 
Yeah, I'm just kind of confused about it. All right. Hopefully this helps our migration problem. Yeah, it definitely did help our migration problem. We're going to have 200k people yearly coming. Or 20k, I mean. It looks like the Civil War is going a little bit differently. And plus Abe's in charge too, so it's kind of like historical. This is cool. So we have an independent Yucatan. Who's a Dominion of France. This is really, really cool. And somehow France got a tree port in... In, in New Orleans, okay. Alright, so here we are with over 250,000 people. I'm not done yet. I think that we have more potential here. Um, I will admit that this is probably the hardest start I've ever played. It might be the hardest start in the entire game. Honestly, because like, you don't really have so many options there. You kind of just have to sit and wait. And we have quite the cultural makeup of our country. We have Tuvan, Ashkenazi, and Greek as our primary cultures. And our and our religious makeup isn't any better. This sucks for these guys. I guess they're gonna have to suffer. So I won't lie to you. This nation is absolutely terrible. It's boring as hell. Do not play this nation. Oh my god, do not play this nation. Russia's in a war with Persia right now. Where they're gonna lose. They're like on like th four different sides here and all they're gonna lose is war, you know war reparations so it's not too bad this is pretty strange i didn't even know that this could happen here somehow there's two ashantis and they have like a similar flag this is kind of weird you think that um they would just merge together all right i'm gonna end this here we have probably far exceeded the modern population of Tenutuva. We have decent GDP. We have pretty good GDP per capita here. We have good literacy. Decent standard of living. Um, Looking at the rest of the world. Not too much is interesting, honestly. Um, Somehow, the British puppeted Chile. Of course, there's the two Ashantis here. France is a republic. Finland got free. Uh, this guy got free. This guy got free. But yeah, um, I would not recommend playing this playing this nation at all. It is super super boring, and you'll probably and you'll probably lose your sanity. But yeah, thank you for watching.